Okay, I'm working on a scanned hand here, and I want to remove those nasty bits in between there while I'm cleaning the hand. And it's taken me a while to work out how to do that, and I thought I would share that with you. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get my brush size down, um, go to the move brush, start pulling this all down, trying to keep the um, geometry even as possible, although I know the um, polygons are all going to be um, quite badly stretched. Just pull that down to roughly where I want it to be. Um, I hold down shift to do a little bit of smoothing, but um, I know that's a little bit of a waste because uh, the polygons are all going to be in a very bad state. Uh, you could use the snake hook to do this as well, but I personally just prefer the move brush. Okay, so you just get it into the general um, position that you want to get it into. Um, if you click this over here, you can see um, that the polygons are in a horrible state there. We've got some really big ones, so there's no possibility of, of any detail there. But um, what you're looking for is the general shape. Okay, so now what we do is we um, just uh, select, I'm just going to go to this brush over here, select the lasso brush, we just select the area where the polygons have been messed up. Um, make sure that you can see both sides. Actually quite a useful little feature is to go to display properties, if I can just find display properties here and go to double um, just for this so that you can get it, uh, make sure that you've actually captured everything. You can see it's really nasty there but you can make sure you've captured everything. Okay, so now uh, let's just um, make, have a quick check that we've got all the nasty polygons in there. Yes, we have. Okay, so now um, what we do is we go to um, we, we, we go to masking, we select um, mask all, so we've masked this entire group. Um, poly group, we go to poly groups, we go, well, actually group visible, and now we go to geometry, Z remesher, and we make it adaptive. Um, we put that number quite high, uh, we put that number quite high. Um, we want the curve strength low, so we get a little bit of smoothing. Um, very important freeze group so that this shape is retained and we click on the Z remesher and what we're doing is we're just remeshing this area and now if we go there you can see that a, a lovely new uh, polygon has been created. Now this this is the bit for me that's quite um, interesting. What I'll do now is I'll use the, the, the smooth brush just to um, flatten that out. Oh, sorry, very important. I'll just undo those moves. Very important. What you want to then do is go to Geometry, Modifier Topology, and Weld Points. I'm going to show you why. If you do smoothing, do you see how these points separate here um, between the new mesh that you've created and the old mesh. I'm just going to undo that. What you need to do is you need to weld all the points together. So if you click on weld points and now you do smoothing, you see it's all been joined together. So what I'll generally do is I'll, I'll smooth, uh, do a little bit of clay build up here um, just to fill in uh, the horrible bits. Um, you don't need to be too detailed here. What you're trying to do is just get rid of the, the nastiness and then what we're going to do is we're going to remesh again. Uh, so you want to try and get rid of as much of the nastiness as, pot as possible. Uh, let's just flatten that out a little bit. There. Um, if you hold down the Alt key um,
you can flatten out. I'm not sure why my thing is getting black, but anyway, you get the vibe. Uh, maybe someone else in another tutorial can show me why that's happening. Uh, just going to smooth this out a little bit here. Um, do some smoothing there, flattening. Basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the um, polygons as close together as possible or, or, or get it into a shape that at a later point is going to be much easier to, to sculpt with. Um, I'll just check that out. Um, <clears throat> I'll use this opportunity just to uh, get this uh, closer to the shape that I want it to be at a later stage. And then I am going to remesh again so that I've got a nice grouping of, of polygons. So now I'll select this again. Control Alt to get this selection curve. Uh, you can see once again I've got this shape. Um, I go to poly groups. I group the visible because, um, as I understand it, the Z remesher works on um, an active poly group. And so I go back to the Z remesher. Um, I'll keep all of these settings the same. I will just let the Z remesher do its work. You can see we've got a nice sort of range of um, a nice clean group there. Once again, we go to modify topology and weld the points. And that is it, ready for sculpting.